Hello friends, today is December 13th, Monday, year 2021. It's a special day for Sweden. It's Lucia, a lady, comes with candles in her hair and gives very delicate and nice uh, buns to us here. Not everyone likes it, but no. And, but now, of course, the women say, not only women should do that too, but also men, because it should be equal. Everything should be equal now. So this is today. And now I'm speaking more about the hats here and uh, how it is. I will explain that small things and big things are different. Small boats and big boats are different. That is like different law on that, you know. I take an example spiders this little thing with eight legs they use something called ballooning and they spin out their thread in the back they climb a little hill and get that thread out and after a little while it's long enough and the air and electricity take them up into the field and i can go hundreds of kilometers in this way but you know a human being, he cannot spin off the rope, you know, and start flying. And, and then when he gets far enough, he eats up this rope and goes down into Earth again to a nice place. We have to do end up airplanes, you know. So, and this has to do with a square cube law. It was discovered by uh, Galileo Galilei, 1638. And it says that as things increases, uh, the surface increases slower than the volume. For example, if the scale is two, if you square up a thing by two, the surface increases four times, two by two, but the volume increases eight times, three times, two times, two times, two by the cube. And this is why it makes so big things not strong, because strength comes by the surface and uh, stresses comes by the volume. And I take an example on my boat, you know. Uh, 19... 89. I was cruising in France with my first sandwich construction. It was five centimeters thick. This is seven centimeters thick core. And I was with a girl and I was up on a little lake in London, Brittany. And it was in Mars so not many people were out. So that was a bit not too many company. But then on the other side of the lake came a, one of these rental barges, a steel thing. And it came, we was just laying on a dock and it came towards us and it got closer and closer. A oh, nice little company I saw. But it gets closer and closer, it didn't slow down. And suddenly it hit us right in the middle and we were also against the dock so we couldn't move. And up come two couples, one man and a woman, one man and a woman, and they say, excuse nous nous sommes débutants. That means, excuse us, we are beginners. Because in France, you can rent one of these little steel barges without a driving license, if you don't have too strong engine. And later in, uh, Ireland, same thing happened. I was against the wall in Baltimore, in Ireland, and a fishing boat come and hit me. Maybe it was a drunk driver or something like that, but that's how it happened. So it's the, not the sea who is dangerous, but the ports. And now that was 50 millimeter, this is 70 millimeter, 
and I just had a little layer of glass fiber. Here is carbon fiber, and here is this test pieces. Here I have carbon fiber, but if you hit on the outside, it goes through, and it goes up at like 45 degrees. But if you have the carbon on the inside, like here, it doesn't get any damage. And now, for example, if you hit a thing like here, like 10 centimeter, the forces goes this way, this way. So it's like really this big surface that comes into the carbon and takes up that. And this acts like a cushion. So, yeah, this is my hatch. And it sits there. And it's only when it's bad weather, I put it in place and then I open the hatch. And this is from Frost King. To show you, this is the bulkhead and the bulkhead. And here's the hatch cover, hatch cover. And then, bad weather, I close it, and some water can come in. And the same thing in the back. And this is from Ruski. So, I don't know if this is gonna help, but anyway, it's one more explanation. Thank you very much. Hello friends. Today is about peat ply. Here is 30 centimeter. Here is five, it is ten, but I run out of that, so I put it up like one here. And now, thanks to Tanso, Indian Shipping, MC, and his friends, he got much peat ply. It's uh, 50 centimeters wide, and here it is. So, it's important. And here is the preparing for some laminations. And here gonna be this glass fiber. And then on top of it, peat ply. And with peat ply, it becomes so nice and smooth. So it's nothing to compare with it. So, thank you for this time.